Now it's worth having a good listen to the 40 different EFX types available. They can really dramatically change the sound of a patch. This one, for example, user 98. It uses the distortion effect. Now if I remove EFX, you can hear what a difference it makes. And let's take a look at the particular module that's been used. The facts, EFX number three, distortion, is shown. Now, if you move to performance mode and call up the same patch, there could be a problem. As I've already explained, in the machine we have reverb, processing, chorus, and one EFX type available at any one time. Since the performance mode is a collection of different patches which may all use different EFX, how can we possibly process all of the patches independently? Well, we can't. We have to choose one EFX settings for the performance. So let's go to performance mode and select for part one that sound. Well, you hear straight away that we've lost the EFX, but there is a remedy for this. Provided we just want to apply EFX to one sound, we can go back to the effects here and this time specify EFX source. Well, at the moment, this is set to performance, but if I set it to any one of the parts in my performance, it will draw the EFX settings from that patch. Okay, so for part one, I'm going to use source. And now if I play the same sound, it has its original EFX intact.